A patient with chest pain relieved by sitting up and leaning forward most likely has A. Myocardial infraction B. Aortic dissection C. Pericarditis D. Pulmonary embolism Correct answer C. Pericarditis In pericarditis, the chest pain often worsens when lying down and improves when sitting up. This positional change helps relieve pressure on the inflamed pericardium. It's a classical clue in diagnosing pericarditis. A five-year-old child with a continuous machinery murmur is likely to have A. Ventricular septal defect B. Atrial septal defect C. Patent ductus arteriosus D. Coarctation of iota Correct answer C. Patent ductus arteriosus Patent ductus arteriosus PDA produces a continuous murmur called a machinery murmur. It's heard best at the left upper chest. It occurs due to persistent connection between the iota and pulmonary artery after birth. Which of the following heart sounds is heard in patients with heart failure and indicates volume overload? A. S1 B. S2 C. S3 D. Opening snap Correct answer C. S3 The S3 heart sound occurs due to rapid filling of a dilated left ventricle. It's often heard in patients with heart failure and is sometimes called a ventricular gallop. It is a low-pitched heart sound heard best with the bell of a stethoscope. Which heart disease is classically associated with snowman appearance on chest x-ray? A. Total Anomalous Pulmonary Venous Connection TAPVC B. Epstein Anomaly C. Coarctation of Iota D. Tricuspid Atresia Correct answer A. Total Anomalous Pulmonary Venous Connection TAPVC In TAPVC, all pulmonary veins drain abnormally, often into the superior vena cava. The chest X-ray shows a snowman or figure of eight appearance. It's a rare cyanotic congenital heart disease. Which of the following is the earliest marker of myocardial infraction? A. Troponin I B. CKMB C. Myoglobin D. LDH Correct answer C. Myoglobin Myoglobin rises within 1 to 2 hours of myocardial injury, making it the earliest marker. However, it is not very specific for the heart. Troponin is more specific but takes longer to rise. Which congenital heart disease is associated with egg on a string appearance on X-ray? A. Tetralogy of phallet B. Transposition of the great arteries C. Truncus arteriosus D. Epstein anomaly Correct answer B. Transposition of the great arteries In transposition of the great arteries, the iota and pulmonary artery are switched. On X-ray, this gives an egg on a string appearance due to narrow mediastinium and enlarged heart. It is a cyanotic heart disease in newborns.
Which of the following features is seen in Eisenmenger syndrome? A. Right to left shunt B. High systemic blood pressure C. Bradycardia D. Left to right shunt Correct answer A. Right to left shunt Eisenmenger syndrome occurs when a long-standing left to right shunt leads to pulmonary hypertension. Eventually, the shunt reverses to right to left, causing cyanosis. It is a complication of uncorrected congenital heart defects. A bounding peripheral pulse with a rapid upstroke and quick collapse known as a water hammer pulse is most commonly seen in which condition? A. Mitral stenosis B. Aortic regurgitation C. Aortic stenosis D. Tricuspid regurgitation Correct answer B. Aortic regurgitation a water hammer pulse is a characteristic finding in aortic regurgitation. It results from a high stroke volume followed by rapid runoff of blood back into the left ventricle. This gives the pulse its strong collapsing nature. It is best felt in the radial or brachial artery when the arm is lifted. Which valve is most commonly affected in rheumatic heart disease? A. Aortic valve B. Pulmonary valve C. Tricuspid valve D. Mitral valve Correct answer D. Mitral valve The mitral valve is the most commonly involved valve in rheumatic heart disease. It often becomes stenotic or regurgitant due to chronic inflammation. This is especially common in developing countries with high rates of streptococcal infections. Which electrolyte abnormality is most likely to cause tall peaked T waves on ECG? A. Hypokalemia B. Hyperkalemia C. Hypocalcemia D. Hyponatremia Correct answer B. Hyperkalemia Hyperkalemia affects the cardiac conduction system and causes tall peaked T waves on ECG. If untreated, it can progress to severe arrhythmias. Prompt treatment is essential to stabilize the heart and lower potassium levels. Which of the following drugs is used to treat supraventricular tachycardia acutely? A. Atropine B. Adenosine C. Amiodarone D. Digoxin Correct answer B. Adenosine Adenosine is the first line drug used to treat acute SVT. It works by temporarily blocking AV node conduction which helps restore normal rhythm. The effect is very short, but effective in many cases. Triad of hypotension, JVP rise and muffled heart sounds is called A. Cushing's triad B. Beck's triad C. Charcot's triad D. Levine's sign Correct answer Drop your answers in the comment section below. For downloading PDF content and for latest updates, follow our Telegram channel. I have given the link in the description below. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for watching.